left foot to the ball and kicks it high down towards the South Sydney line. And South Sydney are going to run it back towards their own quarter line through Jason Moon. Let's go down to the sideline, Ian Hanson. And the Steelers will have the, uh, the advantage of a, of a slight breeze at their backs. Uh, the breeze has swung around from, from north to, uh, to now the southeast. And uh, the Steelers will never have, have a better chance of today than, uh, than to beat the Rabbitohs without uh, their two State of Origin stars, David Boyle and Les Davidson. Well, Illawarra have got the ball. They're about 18 metres away, and that's Cavill Hugh taking it up. And he's slipped that good pass away towards Carberry. Michael Carberry's got it back to Spring. Spring stands in the tackle. That's Hanson. But good South Sydney defence. Every time Illawarra passed it, there seemed to be three South Sydney Guernseys there to tackle the next player. Oh, and a bad mistake in the play of the ball, but it's a penalty right in front. It's against Ellison and Andrews. Both of them making no attempt at all to get away from that ruck area. And Dean Carney from right in front moves in. There's the kick. He struck it well enough to get the Steelers two points. And Illawarra are leading South Sydney after about six and a half minutes of play by two points to nil. And running the ball back South Sydney towards their back towards the halfway line. That was Crookshank, Moon. Away it comes from Ellison. And that's Harrington, the winger. He's got the ball back towards the halfway line. It's Coleman. Mario Fenix coming away now from Ellison. The good pass away to Maven. Maven's got out of that tackle. Maven down to the quarter line. Maven across the quarter line. Good cover defence from the Steelers. It was Terry Haddock who was across there, the halfback, who tackled him around the legs. Maven really hates that decision. He feels that he was tackled in the field of play and then dragged across the touchline. The referee disagrees and he's the only one that really matters. Well, it was a great tackle, covering tackle by uh, Perry Haddock here. And you'll see Haddock look towards the touch judge and say, he's in there. Took a while for him to make the decision. Now Kissel running out wide, he couldn't get that pass away. Bradley was on the outside of him. Now Carney going from dummy half, and maybe Maven was a bit upset with the way Carney came in over the top to affect that second tackle. Good run from Spring. This man certainly coming in for plenty of attention. But obviously the Sydney selectors have seen quite a deal of him because, of course, he played in the Sydney second side earlier in the year, well, a few weeks ago. Now that's Michael Carberry, himself a former South Sydney player, as Perry Haddock gets his kick in up over the halfway line. Coming across is Crookshank, he got a good bounce. And, uh, oh, what a good don't argue that one is. Well, that was his opposite number, Peter Phillips, who was coming in to affect the tackle and wished he hadn't. Coleman, the pass comes away now from Ellison. It goes to Jason Moon. Moon's out of one. He's back to the halfway line. That was Hanson, the lock forward who came in to try and affect that first tackle. He was there for the second as well. Now dropping that ball is Wayne Chisholm. And I think Illawarra might have come up with it here. I think Michael Carberry's got it, and the referee agrees. Well, here you see he took his eye off the ball. And you can't afford to do that. Now Spring taking it up for the Illawarra Steelers. He's got it back to the quarter line. This South Sydney defence has been pretty good so far. They've had three and four up there every time one of the Illawarra forwards has taken the ball up. Kissel's kick over towards the eastern touch line. Oh, it's away over the touch line on the full. And so the scrum will go down only about 17 metres out from Illawarra's line. Coleman to put the ball in. So this should give South Sydney a grand attacking opportunity. So the early games today, Illawarra convincing winners and under 23s, 22 points to 10, and they'd skipped away to good leads in or good lead in the reserve grade twice before South Sydney came back to win 20 points to 18. But the Steelers certainly had plenty of opportunities late in that reserve grade game, but just couldn't uh, secure the two competition points. Paul Roberts running the ball up now for South Sydney. He's tackled about 19 metres out as he plays it now. And it comes from Andrews away to Coleman. Now Johnston down the centre. And Lindsay Johnston's going to be asked to play the ball just 17 metres out from the Steelers' line as Fennick moves into dummy half. Blindside, it comes to Coleman. The wide pass comes out to Paul Roberts again. And Roberts is still going. He's only about six metres out, though, from the Illawarra Steelers' line as Chisholm moves to dummy half. And now it's with Coleman. Coleman throwing the little dummy. The grubber kick into the end goal area. This could be anyone's ball. And in the end, after Perry Haddock tried to force it, it's towed over the dead ball line. Upfield back there as well, the second rower. And play will restart for the line dropout. And there's another gigantic dropout from Dean Carney. Up over the halfway. A bit of a mix-up there between Coleman and also the fullback Crookshank. And Harrington gets the ball. This strong, free-running winger. And look at that. 
Plenty of strength in this young man. He's tackled. Oh Two metres inside Illawarra's territory. The run round with Michael Blake sees the ball come back to Jason Moon. The, the former Illawarra Steelers player is going to play the ball. Ten metres Illawarra's side of halfway. Fennick, the wide pass, comes away to Crookshank. Crookshank, can he get his pass away? Went from Chisholm away to Paul Roberts. Roberts back on the inside to Michael Blake. Blake for the line. Michael Blake's got his pass away. And Mario Fennick will score the try. Souths are in front, 4-2. Brilliant try, backing up the man with the ball. That really is vintage football. And I've been impressed with South Sydney. They've kept this ball alive the entire game. A good switch here. You see Fennick letting the ball come on the second phase with the linking of the fullback. And we saw the second row there. Roberts inside to Blake. And Blake does the step. Phillips is drawn in. And what every hooker should do, back up. And now Ellison with the chance to stretch the lead. There's the kick. He struck this one a little bit better. It's there. Two more points for South Sydney. And South Sydney are leading Illawarra by six points to two. And Coleman to put the ball into the scrum. So South with another attacking opportunity. Ellison, the wide ball comes out to Crookshank. He can't get through Carney's ball and all tackle. Nine metres inside Illawarra's territory. They keep it going the same way through Maven. Oh! Well, that shows you how tough the youngster is. Carney is... Well, he must be all of about 14 stone. And this is another opportunity for South Sydney right in front of the posts. And Ellison will get a chance to have another shot at penalty goal. Well, that's the sign of a very, very, very lazy side, David. Now watch Maven here. Oh, get out of the way. No answers to that one. Ellison with the chance to stretch the lead down to six points. There it is. Pretty well struck. And he's got it. Two more points for South Sydney. South Sydney leading Illawarra by eight points to two. We've had 25 minutes to play in the first half. Well, the Rabbitohs must be feeling pretty confident about this, David. They've really taken this game by the scruff of the neck. The Steelers look a little bit, uh, well, upset. They haven't really settled down into any pattern. They've been driving in with the forwards. But after that, there hasn't been any link. Nothing constructive coming out of them at all. So there's Carney's restart. Oh, this is almost a collision. Obviously, in the end, Crookshank called as Moon just stood back that half metre or so and then took the pass to run it back to the quarter line. It did look, though, for a moment as if no one was going to call and we were going to see both of them collide. Now, look at that Maven fend again. But this time, uh, Carney's around his bootlaces and not willing to go over the top. And there, we see some of the vigour of uh, young Dean Hanson as he came in over the top. And now Maven's going to be penalised. Coleman obviously had a few words to say to the referee. The referee's not going to take any of that. And very quickly came in and said, I'm the boss, get out of it. Well, he's only a youngster, but he's got to get rid of this attitude. All right, you've got to be tackled in this game, son. And that is stupid. He tried to, uh, shall we say, attach his own head to the lock forwards. And it wasn't that Coleman was saying anything to the referee, David. He was going crook at Maven for giving away a silly penalty. And he's still talking. Carney. Chance to make it two out of two for the afternoon. Moves in. And he's got it. Two points to Willow Warwick. And so, with about 12 or 13 minutes still remaining in this first half, South Sydney leading Illawarra by eight points to four. Well, there'll be no message need to go out by the coach, George Piggins. The young centre will have a little glance up at the scoreboard. See those extra two points being put onto the Illawarra Steelers side of things. He'll be out there to make it up. There's the restart. And Kelly has knocked that on. A little bit of indecision to start with out there from the time that ball was kicked off. Look at this. Well, that's, been, that's been their problem, David. There you see. Bad positioning. So, South Sydney with another good opportunity to go right on the attack here. They're six metres out. That ball comes into the scrum. Coleman, the open side. It comes to Kissel. But Hanson there should say Ellison. Kissel was there uh, affecting the tackle. As a way it comes now from Coleman. On it goes to Blake. Blake sends it away to Maven. And Maven's got within about six metres of the Illawarra line as he plays it. Penny, Penny going on his own. Can he score his second for the afternoon? 
He's going to be held up only about a meter out from the Illawarra line. Coleman to dummy half. Coleman's pass to Ian Roberts, and Roberts is almost in. Some of the South Sydney players, especially Lindsay Johnston, thought he was there. As it's Coleman again, a dummy, dummy half, as the long ball comes floating out wide to Jason Moon, and Moon's in for the try. Jason well, Moon scoring the try against his old club, and Souths are now leading 12-4. The gamble was on, and this halfback took it. Beautiful spinning ball. No one at home, and this winger won't get him easier than that. Now look at the determination on this halfback. Beautiful long ball. Eat your heart out, Wally Lewis, and Moon in for an easy one. So here's Ellison so far today. Two from three. Yeah. That looks to be pretty good. He's got it. What a good kick. 14 points to four, South Lead Illawarra. Nine minutes left in the first half. Well, they fully deserve to have that lead, David. They've been by far the better side, more constructive. Illawarra being fits and starts. They've never really got into the swing of things. Well, Georgie there's, Pickens. There's a good-looking hooker. My shoot. All hookers are good-looking. But he'll be quite pleased with the fact that uh, he's got this handsome lead going into the half-time break. And that is another bad mistake. It's been kicked out on the full. And so South Sydney receive a penalty from the centre of the halfway. And when you're down, things really start going backwards for you. And I think their coach, Brian Smith, have a lot to say at half-time. They haven't shown a great deal of respect for possession. They've been missing tackles. Quite frankly, I think a few of those forwards on the Steelers' side have uh, decided to Look for an easy way out, taking rests on the blind side. Well, they've missed 16 tackles, and they've dropped the ball six times. And just everything's going wrong at the moment for Illawarra. Everything's going right for South Sydney. They've got the ball just out from the quarter line. Lindsay Johnston takes it up. It's taken there by Michael Carberry, also involved Cavalier. And that's Fennick. Away it comes now to Wayne Chisholm. Chisholm gets out of one. That's that pirouette, the fin. Pinches another couple of metres. Fennick at dummy half, and away it comes from Coleman. When it goes back to Ellison, and the work move sees the ball finish up with Paul Roberts, and he's got that pass away. Mavens had to uh, fall on that loose ball, though. It almost came off that for South Sydney. They created the hole, but just couldn't finish, finish the movement off. Harrington with the ball. They're playing with a lot of confidence now, South Sydney. They've got this lead. They're really buzzing. They're on the roll. And it's this quick play of the ball that's catching Illawarra on the carpet. Now, an attempt to drop goal from Ellison. And I think he's got it. He has. So one more point, and South Sydney leading Illawarra 15-4. In a dummy half, that's Bradley. And Bradley well and truly wrapped up right round the legs by Finney. And that's going to be a penalty. It took him a while to award that, but then I think it was the right decision. It certainly was, and it, uh, if it wasn't for the Illawarra player, I don't think the referee was going to give it. I think Michael Pulp was saying to the referee, well, he you know, appealed fair, to him. Fair enough. He said, give us a go, ref. Took a while for the marbles to click into gear for the referee. But Carney moving in, and there's the kick. And the flags go up, and so the Illawarra Steelers fans cheer as they get two more points, and South Sydney are leading by 15 points to six. The last tackle against the South Sydney, as Ellison's got his kick in. It's a big kick too. Look at how high that ball bounced. As the ball, now that's a bad mix-up. And the referee, and rightly so, is going to rule that a forward pass. And we were directly in line with that. And there was no doubt from here, anyway, as far as I was concerned, that it was a forward pass. Make your own decision on that one. A little bit awkward from that angle. The referee, remember, was about 20 metres further upfield. Ellison, another long-range shot at field goal as the ball spears off the side of his boot. Saunders has taken it on the full. Now, what's Saunders going to do? Some of the South Sydney players had stopped, and Saunders noticed that for a moment, and think he, I think uh, just for a fleeting moment he thought there was a chance. 
but the whistle's gone for half time and at half time South Sydney go in leading Illawarra by 15 points to six no changes to either side as they came back onto the field let's go down to the sideline and see what happened in the dressing rooms though here's Ian Hanson yeah you're right David no changes but uh, Mario Fennick uh, did have uh, a lingering elbow injury restrap and uh, it's certainly going to trouble him in the second half uh, in the Illawarra room Coach Brian Smith, very disappointed with the error count, as we, as we know. Uh, missed tackles, drop balls. Uh, South's coach, George Pickens, very pleased with the way the Rabbitohs are going. And, uh, but he wants them to cut down on those silly penalties, which we saw particularly in the play the ball area. So South Sydney with the ball, back inside Illawarra's territory. Ian, uh, while you're down there, I'm just wondering, what's that breeze like down there? Is it still uh, really favouring uh, Illawarra in this half, or uh, has it died down a fraction? It has died down, but it is coming... Um, um, at the backs of Illawarra, so I'll be pleased with that, that's for sure, David. This place has been taken by Tony Curry. Illawarra with the ball, though, short side, it comes away up right towards Hanson, and Hanson's got the ball about 12 metres inside South Sydney's territory. Last tackle against Illawarra, as it's played from Carberry, it comes across to Haddock, he's going to kick for touch, and that ball bouncing awkwardly towards the touch line and has found it. What a masterly kick! He had very little room to move in there, Perry Haddock, but he virtually put it on the sixpence. So it was a great kick here, give himself plenty of room, switched it back onto the blind side. Just a little chip over. Beautiful position of kick. And now the penalty has gone against Illawarra, so all that good work from Perry Haddock goes wasted because of the hands in the scrum, says the referee. And so South Sydney are now going to kick for touch and get themselves out of a bit of trouble. And that's been the problem, David, that uh, every time that the Steelers have camped in the South Sydney quarter, they've given away a silly penalty and let South off the hook. There's the penalties. The war is still leading 7-5. The word it counts most. The South's leading 15 points to 6. Uh, Lindsay Johnston Daggle, 10 metres his own side of halfway, a blind side that was going to go, but they decided to go up the open side through Roberts, and he's tackled. That's Ian Roberts, the prop forward. Two metres still inside South Sydney's territory. Fenny goes the blind side this time, and Coleman makes a rare mistake, but Andrews was there to clean it up. He's wrapped up. Still just inside South Sydney's territory, and Andrews knocked that on. No risk at all. He did lose control of that before he went to play it. Well, he did three things wrong there, David. He, he dropped it, walked away from the mark, and never got his foot to it to play it. So Illawarra with the ball. And the work moves. See Bradley straight down the centre. Bradley over the quarter line. Bradley trying to get away from Moon. He's got through the tackle. He sent the pass away. It's gone to Kelly. Kelly's still with the ball. He can't keep it going, though. Good football from Illawarra. And now there's going to be a scrum go down. Well, Bradley had his chance. Andrews to get up and play it. Fennick, the pass comes to Ellison. Another huge punt. Now Lada underneath it this time without any pressure. The long pass comes to Saunders. Now Saunders has a lot of speed. Tackle just outside the quarter line. Well, there are the tactics that South will employ all the way up to the final whistle now. They realise with this 15-6 lead, they can just control the game. The forwards are working hard sucking in the Illawarra defence and when the opportunity comes they get the link out wide and that's Larder still 25 minutes left in the match there's plenty of time for Illawarra as long as they respect possession Haddock away it comes now towards the prop board Cavill Hugh last tackle against Illawarra still just inside Illawarra's territory the pass comes to Larder and Larder decides to run it on his own now puts the little kick in Larder should get this ball back he does Larder now to the quarter line he throws the long pass and picked up oh! Bradley and Kelly have collided and both of them have mucked it up and picking up the dregs is Michael Blake for South. Well, that probably typifies the sort of luck which hasn't gone Illawarra's way all afternoon. Well, what can you say, David? Here comes the crunch. It's bad enough playing against 13. You don't have to bring your own teammates into it. Kelly down injured, Malcolm Kelly. Michael Blake with the ball for South Sydney and he's got it about 33 metres out. Plays it, Fennick from dummy half, good run from Mario, down to the quarter line, had a sniff of a second try then, 
Dummy half is Coleman. The pass floats out now from Ellison. It goes on now to Maven. Maven's pass finds Harrington. Harrington away from one. The one-handed back to Maven. Maven's got it away towards Andrews, and that's a good tackle from Bolt, but he's still got the pass away as it comes to Coleman. Now it's with Ian Roberts. Ian Roberts has gone straight through. Ian Roberts will score. That's the ball game. That's the score. It's 19 6. Great try to South. They kept the ball alive. And it just goes to show that if your forwards do the work in the middle, they sucked in the defence, they threw the ball out wide, they kept it alive, and it was finished off by the, the big forward, Roberts. Now look how this ball has been spun out wide. Beautiful play by Harrington. He's had a big game this fellow. Maybe back on the inside. Andrews kept the ball alive. We see the fullback linking through. Beautiful pass by Coleman. And this is awful tackling Mr. Phillips, deary, deary me. The forwards have done all this hard work. They left it to the three quarters to link it out wide. It stretched the Illawarra defence, ripped it to shreds, kept the ball alive here. Good play by the lock forward. Now watch this beautiful ball round the man. And I'm sorry to say, children, don't watch this. You've got to tackle low. Here's Ellison, the chance to add the extra as he's put it straight over the red dot. And so it's 21 points to six in favour of South Sydney over Illawarra. Well, Ian Roberts, uh, his nickname, Zion, and the way the Illawarra defence tried to tackle him this just then, you'd, you'd swear he was made of iron. Open side it comes again from Coleman. Now that's Harrington, and Harrington's going to be held up. This is an ideal opportunity for South to start putting on the moves. Really is nothing more than a training exercise to them now. They have the game won 21-6. Thomas it is who's got the ball. He plays at Coleman. Coleman's pass goes to nobody, but Michael Blake has cleaned it up. It's gone back to Ellison. Ellison has a shot at field goal, which is wide and dead. So play will restart from the centre of the quarter line. Well, another quick thinking, and here we see this Coleman looking for that opening, but really no one was going into the gap, went to no one. But try for the one-pointer, this time just wide. So now they're trying to uh, put on some attacking moves again, Illawarra. Saunders' little chip and chase didn't come off, and Paul Roberts has the ball for South Sydney. And the big second rower has got the ball back to within about 32 metres of that Illawarra line. I think he's been injured slightly in that tackle. He fell awkwardly. The ball comes away now to Coleman again. Coleman, beautiful pass away to Fennick. Fennick down to the quarter line. He's got support. Oh, he's taken out of the play after he sent the pass on the inside. The movement has continued on though as it comes to Coleman. It's sent out to Ellison. Ellison can't get his pass away. Just flicks it to nowhere. But Kenny cleaning it up again as Coleman. He's going to play the ball. Fennick is flat out on the back play. About 18 metres out from the, uh, from the goal post as the ball comes to Thomas. And Thomas is going to be asked to play it just outside the Illawarra quarter line. Michael Blake at dummy half. It comes away to Coleman. Coleman's pass to Maven. Maven straight through. Maven's still going. He can't offload. He's still going, Maven. What a good, strong run from the youngster. Last tackle against Illawarra. Phoenix back on his feet as it comes to Crookshank. Now it goes to Coleman. Coleman's kick almost into the end goal area. It has been dived on there by Illawarra. And this is going to be a penalty against it. South Sydney, in fact it's against Maven for the way he finished that tackle off and now the touch judge is in and I uh, wouldn't mind betting that's for the tackle that was on Fennick. Is no that Larder? Larder's being cooled out. No doubt about it uh, David but it was a beautiful ball that put Fennick into that gap and Fennick in turn popped up the ball and took the consequences and that was getting well a fairly heavy knock. Good sign receive treatment. Paul Roberts leaving the field, and he really does deserve a big pat on the back for his performance. Well, this is the uh, the incident. There you see, there's no doubt about it, it was late. But I think on the chest, and I think a lot of those players, David, will be very pleased, as will some of the Steelers fans, when the Hooter does go. But let's not take anything away from South Sydney. They came down here, I would say, starting as underdogs today, and they really have played very well 
good effort by George Biggins' boys today. But here he is, the work move. Michael Blake flying through on that kick. It's been pushed by County. Blake dives, misses. The ball's gone dead. Well, that was a good kick from Ellison. And Blake went oh so close to scoring the try. Well, this is a tremendous, a tremendous kick through. And here you see Blake coming just in time. Big fella gets inside. Carney. Well, there's the line dropout. So South Sydney still with the ball. The long pass comes away to Crookshank. And Crookshank comes at that good line of Illawarra defence, which was up there. He's wrapped up by upfield. Ten metres inside Illawarra's territory. Beasley out wide, gets through one. Certainly been a big day for Mark Ellison, who we must rank now as one of the smartest 5'8s in the game. The boy who came from Cronulla mid-season. Well, I'm certain that most of the South Sydney fans uh, have been very pleased with him. And there's the man we're talking about, Ellison. Ellison's pass comes away in the end. It's almost uh, been intercepted there by Kelly, but I'm certain if he'd missed it, it would have been up out on the outside towards Crookshank and Moon, and it could well have been another try. Well, it certainly was, David. And Ellison, the 5'8", has had a good game today, but none better than the halfback. There was a beautiful ball that sent the 5'8", through the gap. They've kept uh, the Steelers trialless. As the pass comes out wide now to Bradley. Bradley's flick pass back on the inside is taken by Saunders. Last tackle against Illawarra. Saunders finally gets to his feet. Now Alada, the pass comes away to Haddock. Haddock's up to the halfway line. He's still going. The pass comes away to Owen Saunders. Saunders pass on the outside to Hardy. Hardy down to the quarter line. Great cover defence. Wraps him up. Takes him across the touch line. And that man across there in cover was the prop forward, Ian Roberts. What a game he's had. C certainly has, David. <laughs> Full credit when a prop forward can do this. Now this was a good break by Haddock. Kept the ball alive. And really there hasn't been many of this for the Steelers this afternoon. Beautiful pass there. Now look at that cover tackle. That's a prop forward with only seconds remaining in the game. And he must have done 30 tackles at least. That's exactly what he just, just registered. His 30th tackle of the afternoon. Taken the ball up well. It's been a great team effort from South Sydney. Certainly has, David. And uh, the way that the three quarters, they've helped the forwards out. Both wingmen, Harrington and Moon. They've not been shy of coming in and help. Well, there's the full-time siren. South Sydney running out winners by 21 points to six, scoring three tries, four goals to Ellison and one field goal. As against the three penalty goals kicked by Illawarra this afternoon, a very happy... Mario Fennick coming off. The South Sydney supporters who've travelled down from Redfern to Wollongong must be very pleased with their size performance. Without David Boyle, without Les Davidson, without Philip Blake, they've still come out and put together a very workmanlike and tradesmanlike display to shut the Steelers completely out of this match. Certainly have, David, and uh, full credit to the coach, George Piggins. He came down with a game plan, nothing fancy, but keep the ball alive. Back up the man with the ball. Simple, basic football, and it was far too much for the Illawarra Steelers this afternoon. They really were a fits and start situation. Illawarra never really applied any pressure to South Sydney. It was a very disappointing display in front of their home crowd. But South Sydney were very, very good indeed, and they played exceptional good football. So there we are, South Sydney defeating Illawarra by 21 points to six for South Sydney, Mario Fennick, Jason Moon and Ian Roberts, the try scorers. Mark Ellison, four goals and also that field goal, while for Illawarra, Dean Carney kicked three penalty goals.